Hey everyone, so today I'm going to be doing my March, May, I always get months with like the same letter confused, but anyways, I'm going to be doing my May favorites. And it is almost 5pm and I'm just waking up and drinking some coffee. Today is like my day off and I think I have tomorrow off. Probably the only two days I'm not working doubles for the rest of the week, which is awesome. But anyways, longest intro and most boring intro ever. Let's just get started with my favorites for this month. Okay, so I'm going to start off with what's on my eyeballs today. I'm using the Sleek um, Makeup, the Sleek Makeup Eye Divine Mineral Based Eyeshot Palette in Sunset 5568. This is what it looks like. And here are the colors. These are really pretty and obviously by the name they resemble um, a sunset and this is my eyeball. Um, I originally got this palette because someone told me it was a awesome dupe for the Lime Crime Grunge palette but they were wrong. All of these colors except for the black are shimmery and yeah, even though it's not a dupe, I still am digging this palette. Um, I actually got this a while ago, and I'm just starting to mess around with it. Um, but yeah, a lot of these bright kind of orange and yellows and fun pinks, I feel like, are going to be really popular for the summertime. And so this is just a great fun palette. Um, I don't know why they put a black in here, because I tried to use the black in my crease, and it just ruined my entire eyeshadow, so I had to take it off and start over. But yeah, this palette I think is a 11 to $14. Um, yeah, the color, the only thing is the little eyeshadows are kind of small, but these are still awesome and pigmented and shimmery as fuck. I love, love, love this palette. And here's just a close-up of my eye makeup. I'm out of eyeliner, so I'm having to do without. My next favorite for this month is the NYX Tame and Frame Brow Pomade. Basically a ripoff of the ABH um, Dip Brow Pomade. Um, this shit is great. I've been using it a lot this month because I am poor and I can't afford the pomade and I didn't really even like it to begin with. I don't know. Um, I always bounce back and forth on it. This is a great product if you're just starting um, so that you can kind of experiment and get the hang of using a pomade before upgrading to the ABH. So yeah, this is awesome. Um, I've been using it a lot this month. It, the only thing is it does come out kind of light when you put it on, but that's awesome if you're trying to do like the um, light to dark eyebrows. But yeah, I've used this today as well. And yeah, my eyebrows are on fucking fleek. So yeah, I definitely would recommend this. Okay, so my next favorites are the LA Splash Cosmetics Liquid to Matte Lipsticks. Um, I'm pretty sure I've already talked about um, Ghoulish, which is an awesome Lime Crime Cashmere dupe. It looks exactly the same. Why would anyone want to spend money at Lime Crime anyways? But yeah, I've been wearing this so much lately because I haven't been really wearing makeup um, because I do have two jobs and why the fuck would I put on a bunch of makeup just to work for like 16 to 18 hours? But anyways, um, I like this one the best out of all of them that I have because this is like the brush kind of thing and they like changed it so I don't really like it 
So the next one that I have is Phantom. And you guys will see this brush is like huge and it's slanted and it makes it really hard for me to get a precise line when I'm doing my lips. Um, I still love this formula. The only thing, I also got Venom. The only thing is Venom doesn't seem to like to dry for me. I don't know if I just got like a bad one. Um, but it does stay sticky on me. That's not really an issue though. I don't really care that much. But yeah. These are definitely awesome. Um, I feel like they have changed their formula though. So this one that I have from before is definitely my most favorite one. But these are still bomb as well. Okay, so my last kind of beauty favorite is an eyeshadow single. It is the NYX Primal Colors in just hot yellow. I've seen, been seeing like a lot of people starting to wear just plain yellow eyeshadow and I thought that was bomb so I had to get on board. Um, this stuff is pretty pigmented for the price that you pay and yeah, a yellow lipstick is going to be a huge hit for this summer. Um, I've already been wearing it for a while and I see more and more people catching on so I definitely would recommend to buy some yellow eyeshadow. Okay, so I have a clothing item that I'm just like completely in love with. It is this American Apparel kind of bralette, the pastel colored one. Um, it is kind of small because it is a size small and I'm really a size medium in um, American Apparel things. But I just could not pass it up because it was only $20 when it's normally $42. And I got this from a Depop user. Um, if you guys don't use Depop, then I don't know what the fuck is wrong with you. Um, it's a great selling app. I sell a lot of my clothes on there, and I'll put my link in the description box below in case you want to check out what I'm selling or who I'm following and stuff. But yeah, I got this from Depop. It's super cute, super awesome for summer, and I'm so excited to wear it some more. Alright, so my next favorite for this month is this wig that I got from um, eBay. Um, it is really nice quality and I've literally been wanting a wig like this for like years and it comes with the two detachable pigtails. There's a bunch of bobby pins buried in them right now. That you can clip on this. This wig is just so fun and super full. And I also like turning the pigtails into little buns, too. They kind of look like cinnamon rolls on my head. But yeah, this, is, this wig is actually amazing quality for being such a low price. Um, I'm like embarrassed to wear it out in public, which doesn't really make sense. I'm just like so self-conscious about it. But yeah, this is super fun. Um, I was going to do an unboxing of this wig, but my camera kept dying, so, um, yeah. I am also thinking about doing a wig collection video, if any of you guys would be interested. Um, just tell me in the comments below. I would be happy to do it. So, yeah. I think I'm just going to wear this for the rest of the video, actually, because now I don't want to take it off. Okay, to wrap up my favorites video, I want to talk about a couple TV shows I've been loving. Um, first off, Archer. I started watching it. I I don't know why I didn't think I would like it, but I've watched an entire five seasons in like a span of less than two weeks. It's so funny because whenever I like watch the show, I can't stop hearing Bob's, like from Bob's Burgers voice instead of Archer. I think that's why I love it so much is because <laughs> it sounds like Bob come, like, but he turned into a, like, ISIS killing machine. So if you haven't checked that show out, I would definitely recommend checking it out. It's fucking hilarious. 
I feel so far behind on the modern family kind of show because everyone already loves it and I don't know why. I haven't watched it either, but um, I learned that every Friday night they do have like a modern family Friday and literally I can't stop watching that show. I think it's so funny and great. Um, it's definitely one of my favorite shows and I definitely recommend to check it out as well. The last thing I want to talk about is a album that was released this month and it is the Spirit Club self-titled? I'm pretty sure it's self-titled. Yeah, it is the Spirit Club album and I'll play um, a song for you guys. Yeah, I really, I love Nathan Williams and everything that he does is amazing. So if you guys haven't heard of Waves or Spirit Club or Sweet Valley, I would definitely recommend it. Um, yeah, there's, um, stuff is available on iTunes as well as Spotify, so there's no reason for you guys not to check them out. Alright you guys, that concludes my March, or May. Yeah, May monthly um, favorites. I'm sorry this was kind of boring. I just realized at the end of the month that I really haven't spent that much money because I've been saving so much for California and uh, my friend Hannah is coming in from Virginia. But don't worry because I'm going to be making vlogs. Um, just let me know if you guys want me to do any kind of videos or anything. And yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. Um, check out my social medias and hit the subscribe button. Thanks guys!